Hey guys, this is Kyle from The Dime Drop and we're here with Billy Hobbs from True Blue Customs. I'm gonna show you guys some old past projects I've done and uh, gonna chop it up a little bit. Sweet. I grew up loving sneakers. Like I remember the Air Jordan 1, the Nike Dunk. Those were kind of like my gateway drug to sneakers, I guess you could say. Probably 10 to 15 years ago, you know, when the internet first came, you know, there was uh, like Nike Talk forums. So there were some small guys doing some uh, some custom work. wasn't a lot of stuff. There really wasn't a big market for it. And I had a couple guys uh, in New York and Chicago that I was doing Air Force Ones for Nike Dunks. It's like consistently. And, yeah. Well, not a lot. I was a couple a month, a couple pairs a month. It was just like a little side hustle. I wasn't making a bunch of money at all. Fast forward 2010, 2011. My son, which is 16 now, he was into sneakers. I started doing some stuff for him, and then one day one, uh, a couple of UK guys hit me up and said, hey, you know, can you do something for me? Mm -hmm. Tyler Euless, Alex Poitras, those were two of the first ones, uh, Andrew Harrison, and then it snowballed from there. Euless in particular yeah, did those the blue 11s. patent 11s yeah. that yeah. were really sick. Yeah. And then uh, I remember the prism. Yeah, the 10s, tins tins from, yeah, that Alex did. Yeah. 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 yeah, have you noticed that like certain UK teams have more. I felt like that 2015 team had a lot of like intense sneaker heads. It did. On that they team. did. You know, every year, of course, it's a new crop coming in. So it's this particular year, this past year, a lot of these guys are in, really into sneakers. And, yeah. Yeah, with custom stuff. So like PJ Rock, the yeah, Royal. the Royal Blue uh, 11s. Those were those were nice. I did a couple pair for um, for Hami. Of course, the Philly pair I did for um, for Quad A. Those were crazy, you know, to celebrate like his his roots in Philly. And Nick Richards, I did a Jamaican pair for him. You those, know? Yeah, yeah those were that. crazy. I know a lot of people are like, why is he wearing black and green? And, you know? Yeah. But yeah, they came out dope, man. Do you have certain pairs that you think make for a better canvas? Do you have yeah, pairs that you like to I, work on? I like leather base shoes better. Okay. Uh, Jordan 11s work good. Like patent leather scares a lot of customizers because it doesn't want to hold up if you don't if you don't prep it correctly. But anything pretty much leather, like Air Force Ones, that's a huge canvas. Those are probably some of my favorites. I guess if you you know you had to pick one or two. Mm -hmm. Say you, you gave me three pairs that you are the most proud of that you like that. You got a lot of awesome feedback on. You know, the, the first pair that got that actually went nuts was um, for Willie, the gold pair of 11s. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah that that kind of awesome. propelled and kind of like I have, I have reached a, a, a decent little following, but it was mostly local people, you know. And uh, Will Will messaged me and said, "Hey, you know, uh, I want to stop by and let's go over, let's chop it up and go over some different designs he had." And Will's a real eccentric dude, you know. He's really into art, and you know. He wanted to talk about anything but basketball. It was, that was kind of his release. We did those, and of course it was in the 38 and one year. Those were based off of the Ray Allen ring ceremony pair that yeah. he wore. He wore them the first uh, first two rounds of the tournament mm -hmm. and dunked on the dude from Cincinnati and just murdered him. And Where is that? Oh, yeah. That guy's on the missing yeah, person. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah they haven't seen him yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, so he wore those that night, and I think that was on a Thursday night. I went to bed, woke up the next morning and had like 10,000 followers. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> at that point I kind of knew this is kind of going somewhere, you know, and then I stayed working at my day job, but I was working 10 hours a day, coming home and then working till midnight or one o'clock in the morning every day yeah. just to keep up with the orders. Me and my wife were just like, let's try to do this. Let's go all in. Yeah. And, you know, it's paid off. But that was the first big pair. Another pair that I did that was pretty cool was uh, for Dallas Keuchel of the Astros. I was watching the game and a buddy of mine calls. He's like, is Keuchel wearing a pair of your cleats? And I look up and he's wearing them in like game five of the World Series. Oh my god! I was gosh. on the mound. I'm like, that's awesome, you know. That was a pretty cool feeling, yeah. Yeah. I just recently did a pair for a little boy in uh, Georgetown. He's got a, a form of cancer. He's a big Steelers fan and they reached out and said, hey, let's do something together. So we did like a Steelers pair of roshis for him. Yeah, that's awesome. interact with a lot of players yeah uh, do you find that does it vary between them having like good ideas and or ideas that you have to sort of guide yeah. to uh, like like Willie was easy because he had a good mind for it and but a lot of guys you know they don't really know and I'll kind of suggest how about this I can kind of vision in my head but a lot of times it's hard to me for me to explain it to you without you seeing it, you know. You've worked with Markel Fultz a couple yeah, times, I yeah, know, because yeah. I've seen him on Instagram. Yeah. How was that? Markel's a good dude. That's the thing, is like a lot of people, 
they see these guys and they're they're kind of larger than life you know like uh, depends on who it is but everyone's everyone's different some kids are easy to talk to others when they text you it's one word text you know <laughs> yeah. it's just like it's like I'm texting my own son you know yeah arts art you know I mean it translates to no matter what age you are so right How many customers would you say you've done now? I would say close to a thousand, fifteen hundred at wow. least. Like this particular pair, I'll have probably ten to twelve hours when I'm finally done with them. What do you think the relationship between customizers and the actual brands is now? Because uh, have you noticed you guys influencing? It's, it's start, yeah, it's starting to get more into that industry. They don't really do a lot of what we do, but it's kind of a form of it. They're not going to be able to go and get some of the stuff that we can do from the you know the big shoe companies. Right. Have you noticed any particular <clears throat> pair of yours though influencing? like a pair that's come out. I've had two pairs that have shown up on the fake market. They've actually taken my custom. And, oh, yeah, sort like, of flattering though. Yeah, <laughs> with Willie's pair, the gold 11s, and then I did a pair of uh, Cause 8s. Well, where do you see True Blue going forward? Do you want to You just... know, I'm, I'm probably, I am plan to keep it just me is what I ideally what I'd like to do because I'm so picky about the way I Are want you, it done. Control yeah, I am. I, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm kind of branching into other stuff. Like I do, like I customize basketballs for mm -hmm. Cal and Art is art, whether it's on shoes or canvas, and you know, I'll just see where it takes me. But I, I don't see custom sneakers going away. I think it's something that's here to stay, especially with social media. Yeah. Hey folks, I appreciate you watching, and if you like this video, click the like button and be sure to subscribe. We're gonna have more sneaker-related stuff in the future, and also check out my player deep dives if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Twitter at at jkyleman. Say hey!